Good afternoon, it's Friday, May 14th. Today we are here, it's a little after one, and the girls are excited because today is their day to do rides that they haven't done before. And Raven did Viper, but Hannah hasn't, so we are gonna do Viper again, and Goliath, and American Eagle, and see what else we can find that they wanna do. You girls ready to go find some fun? All right, let's go. The girls are gonna go explore over right there while I wait here at Trolley Treats to get a snack and drink refills. The girls are gonna go on triple play and I'm gonna go over on the side to keep an eye on them. Here they are. I was gonna get some skip the lines for Goliath and Max Force, but it looks like a decently long line, so I think we'll come back. All right, let's see how they do on Viper. On the app, it said that there was a 10 minute wait for Viper. We're just walking. I don't see a line yet, but see where it ends, stops, whatever you want to say. No, it's a straight shot into the building. That's great. So a Friday afternoon. Not many people in here. Lucky duck, no one was behind them. They get to go again. How was it though? Did you really like it? I like a lot. Yeah? Yeah, it was a lot of sweet. I didn't like it. I loved it. You didn't I what? It. Oh, yeah. I loved it. Oh, loved it. Okay. <laughs> Not liked it, loved it. <laughs> Bull's about to come down. That's a 54 inch. Oh no, you know what? It could be the hourly sanita sanitization of it. Oh, yeah. They spray it down and run it. So I don't know. Is it on the hour? It's, it's just 201 right now, so I bet you they were just sanitizing it. Interesting. They had the gate closed off to go through the store. So we are exiting Viper through the little exit alleyway here. 
instead of going through the store. I said, giant drop. Do you see it? Do you see it? They're about to drop. Did you do it? Looks like it's empty up there. Are they sanitizing that one too? Or did they shut it down? So Giant Drop is doing every other row and it's a 20 minute wait right now and we didn't want to wait 20 minutes for that. So we'll see how it is later. Girls are in line for River Rocker. I'm very disappointed in these girls. They were the first ones on, got to choose where they wanted to sit, and they sit in the middle and sit at the end. Next on the girls' adventures in roller coasters, we have the American Eagle, which I haven't been on in years. So here we go. We're gonna see if we survive. Not sure how it was, oh, diverted, but we're over by the Daredevil dive, which isn't going right now. But uh, I don't know. It's very much different in going to get in line than the last time I rode, which was a long time ago. So it will be a little bit of a wait because the line stops here. And I hear they only have the red side open. It's probably going to be about a 20 minute wait. But for these girls to experience this ride for the first time and very possibly the last, if I don't ever want to go on it again, depending on how it is today. <laughs> so we're going to do this. There they go. It is now 2.41 and we are getting to the top of the stairs. So it was just about a 20 minute wait from the beginning of the line to get up here. And we'll probably have to wait another like five or so minutes to get onto a car. So I'd say it's more like a 25 to 30 minute wait. Close enough. So what are you thinking about it so far, Hannah and Raven? It looks scary. Yeah, I agree. That first hill drop is, is a doozy. <laughs> You're gonna break what? My vocal cord. Oh, from screaming so hard? I'm trying not to scream that hard. Okay. Okay, just got off of American Eagle. What did you girls think? Fun! And what was your word, Hannah, when we got in? Terrifying. Terrifying. But you asked to go again, so obviously it wasn't that bad, right? I was still scared. Yeah. I was crying. Well, that's the point of roller coasters. You're supposed to feel like you're gonna die for the rush of it. <laughs> I did see um, there was, as we were getting off, there was a man standing with, I assume, his daughter, um, who was about their age, and she looked terrified. So I was like, this was their first time too, and they had so much fun. So I hope that it helped them <laughs> or helped her to feel more comfortable going on, but wasn't as bad as I had in my head. So I would go on it again. I forget how much airtime you get doing those, the first hills going up until you go around the first, uh, first like half circle. It was very shaky by the time you get to that half circle and then pretty much all the way back. I was the very last seat though too, so that probably was part of it. But it was fun, I'd do it again. Like I said, girls had fun. Now we're gonna head over to Goliath. From what I can tell, it looks like the play area doesn't have any ropes roping it off so the kids can play on that. Here comes the Goliath and it's got a little bit of a line. So I didn't want to wait in the line for the skip the line passes. So we're gonna wait. Doesn't look like it's winding throughout. So it just looks like it goes in and out and up. Uh, whoops, sorry, babe. <laughs> And we got in line a little bit before three and forgot about the hourly sanitizations. Now 3.13, they started loading back at 3.10. So I'm really gonna start the 20 minute wait time from 3.10. So we'll see if we get on by 3.30. Now 3.32, more than 20 minutes and we are almost to the bottom of the stairs. So I'm gonna guess this is a 30 or 35 minute wait at this point. Every other row, so they fit 10, 12 on each. 
Poor Goliath is stuck. So of course, we're going to be not in the next car, but the car after, and Goliath gets stuck. Let's hope that they can get up and running because I did not wait an hour to not ride. The exit for Goliath is also not going through the store. It looks like the store is probably closed. What did you think? Terrifying. <laughs> I forgot how much time you're upside down on this ride. And you don't have the shoulder restraints, it's just a lap bar. I kept my eyes on these two, like, please don't fall out of the seat because of how often. I think it's like, it's either three or four times you're upside down. It's crazy. You do like upside down and then flip back and you go upside down and into a corkscrew. Oh, it's just a lot. They even have people sanitizing the benches out here. So it's good to know. The girls are gonna go on the whirly gig because they needed a low key ride instead of a fast one. <laughs> laugh if we even lost the shoes. Hopefully they would drop right where we can pick them up. <laughs> I forget about the swings. It's one of those nice fun rides. I just did not feel like going on them. Fly Hannah fly. <laughs> So Capone's was open today, which I'm glad about because one thing Hannah I know will eat is spaghetti. <laughs> and they had spaghetti and meatballs. And this is actually like a huge portion. So Raven and I are gonna, those are garlic knots. If you don't want them, don't eat them, we'll eat them. They come with two garlic knots, the whole plate of noodles and sauce and, oh, <laughs> yes you did, all over the place. Capone's, I highly recommend going there to get your food. Their pizza even looks, so much better than Primo's pizza, I hate to say it, but it was a bigger piece. It had more cheese on it. And that pasta, Raven and I ate maybe like three quarters of it, maybe two thirds, and ended up throwing it out. So you can feed enough people off of like one of those things if you need to. You ate half of your own, yeah. We got out of Capone's and we met some of our friends. So a shout out to Christina and Joey. It was nice to meet you and I'm glad that my videos have been helping you with your plans. So definitely shout me out when you see me in the parks so I can say hi. The girls went on the dark night. I didn't feel like doing it. It's a little rough of a ride for me, but he went on. I'm just waiting at the exit of the superhero store for when they get off the ride. And then we'll probably head to the car because I think it's almost six. So you girls had fun today? Yeah. You liked all three of the rides that you hadn't ridden before? Terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. And which one was your favorite? The lion. The lion. The most terrifying yeah, one. It was. It's, it's an intense one. I forget how intense it is because it's been a while since I've ridden it. But they stayed in. We lived. Yay! I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I flew up in the air while I was on the road. So, for those of you out there who have been to Six Flags, what is your favorite Six Flags ride? I'm curious, because 
There are so many good ones. <laughs> Maybe we should start a poll. <laughs> poll in the comments of this video. If you did enjoy this episode, please mark it with a thumbs up. It helps us out more than you'd realize. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified of more to come, especially Six Flags and Disney because there's still Disney stuff to do. Oh, and Universal's in there too. Until the next time though, we'll see you at the next Meyer Marker. Bye. Bye. Bye.